A very good evening to all. Hi, I'm Varun, and I welcome you all to the iCode Global Hackathon 2022 uh, webinar for the Blocky Beginner category. Now, this webinar we have divided it into three segments. Uh, first segment is where I'll be explaining you how to enter the uh, your dashboard or to how to log into your iCode uh, Global Hackathon dashboard. And uh, we'll be following the steps that are uh, that you can see here in this document. And the second segment, I'll be explaining you the feature of the iCode uh, gamified uh, platform, and we'll see what are the things uh, that uh, uh, what are the features are there in the platform. And uh, in the third segment, which is the final segment, will be I will will be solving certain challenges, and we'll see how we can use that uh, practice uh, platform. Uh, for preparing ourselves for the uh, main competition. That's the ICO Global Hackathon. Now, without any delay, uh, let's uh, start the session. So, we'll be following these steps uh, that's there in the document. I'm assuming that you all have received this document on your register email. So, the first step here in the document says that we have to open the iCode website. So I can, uh, I'm going to type, type the address, that address, iCode.org, my new browser tab. Yeah. So this is going to open the iCode Global Hackathon website, wherein you can see there is certain information provided here on the uh, competition. It says uh, it's the world's largest cater coding competition. Okay. Now the next step here in the document, it says we need to click on the login link, okay? So the login link, you can find it here on the top right corner, okay? Which is this. So I click on the login link here and we'll be directed to another page. That's the login page for the iPhone Global Hackathon. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next step. Which is this. Here, what we are supposed to do, we have to enter our registered email ID here. Okay. The ID that you have used for registering to the iCode uh, competition, gmail.com. Then I need to click this send validation code button. Once I do that, uh, you get a validation code on your registered email ID. And we'll have to enter that code here. That's what the document says. So let's scroll down. So we'll have to enter the validation code here in this section. So for the validation code, just give me a minute. I'll have to check my phone because my mail has been configured on my phone. Okay. Uh, just a minute. And so my code is 49. Once I enter my validation code, I have to click on this submit validation code button. So if your code is correct, you will be directed to the dashboard. So now this is your dashboard, wherein you can see there's a, a button or link that says start learning. This will give us access to the iCode gamified uh, dashboard. Uh, now what we're going to see is how we can join the webinar. For that, if you scroll down, there's a button that says join webinar. So whenever your webinar is scheduled, when you click on this, it will direct you to the webinar dashboard. And here you'll see uh, on the day of the webinar, two hours before the webinar, a countdown is going to appear on the screen here. So once the countdown ends, a link is aut automatically going to appear here. So to join the webinar, what you need to do is you need to click on the link. It's actually a Zoom link. And when you click on the link, you'll be uh, directed to the uh, webinar window. Okay, So that's how you can join the webinar. So if anyone has any question regarding this, whatever we have discussed so far, please put your queries in the chat box or the chat window here. Okay. I'm, uh, so there are no queries, so we can move on with the session here, I guess. So now, if we have, uh, now what we need to do is we need to go back to our main dashboard. So uh, from here we can 
go back to the main dashboard. So I'll click on the dashboard and this will bring us to the main dashboard. Here. So here you can see there's a button that says start level. So when I click on this button, so let's click on this button and we'll see that we get directly to the iPod JB5 platform. Right. So here you will see your information like your name, your grade, and the your uh, category is being is being mentioned here. Now suppose you want to do make some changes here, like uh, uh, for example, my initials are appearing here. I want to change that, so I can change these information from here. So I have to click here on the top right corner, and then I have to select this option that says my account. Okay, so instead of using my initials, what I want to do is I want my name to appear. So I'll put in my name here. So I'm going to put my name Varun. Uh, rest all information I don't want to change. So I'll leave it as it is. So once I have uh, changed whatever the information that I want to change, what I need to do is I need to uh, click on the save info. So as soon as you do that, you can see the information that you wanted to change is going to reflect on your dashboard. Great. Now there's an announcement section here where you see whatever the announcement regarding the iCode hackathon is there is going to appear here. Uh, so let's scroll down a bit and we'll see what's there at the bottom here. Yeah. So here you'll see it says training course. So there are different levels or uh, there, I can say there are different practice levels you can see here. So there's level one, uh, there's level two, which is currently locked. Uh, then if you uh, scroll down, there's level three, then there's level four and so on. So there are multiple levels for practicing that's provided here. So even uh, like if you want to unlock level two, what you have to do is you have to solve all the missions or all the challenges that are in level one. Until unless we do that, we will not be able to unlock the level two or we will not, we will not be able to have access to the level two uh, games or the challenges. In level one also, or in uh, for that matter, in each level, there are different training grounds. So for example, here there's a basic training ground. Uh, here you can see there's a programming training ground, there's an education one. And if you scroll further, you'll see there are uh, some of the training grounds are there, which are still locked. Okay. So these training rounds will get unlocked as soon as you clear the previous training rounds. Okay. And at each training round, you'll see there are certain number of stars. So in basic level, so to clear the basic level, what I need to do is I have to actually acquire 60 stars in total. So, so far I have only acquired 50. So once I acquire all the 60 stars, I can then move on to the next level that will be programming level. So let's see how this works. So to enter the basic level, what we need to do is we need to click here on the go button. You can follow my instructions here simultaneously. And if you have any queries, please put your questions or queries in the chat window. Okay. Yeah, now you will see we have been directed to the gamified platform. So what uh, now you will see it shows level 6. Why it is showing level 6? Because I have already cleared the previous level. So if, suppose I want to go back to the level 1. I can go, and go back to the level other levels or I can have access to the other levels from the menu button here. So once I click here, I uh, this level map is going to appear on the screen. And you need to select a level that you want to act, uh, open. So this is, uh, I want to open label, level one. So I'll select level one here. I'll just click on it. And you can see this is the level one challenge. Great. Now, the, let me explain you what's the story behind these challenge. So you can see there's uh, this little tiny uh, robot. The name of the robot is Dave. Now this robot, was sent on a space mission in a spacecraft and its mission was to he was supposed to land on a planet now before just before landing on a planet the spaceship got hit by a meteorite and the spaceship was destroyed now what we have to do is we have to help Dave 
collect certain uh, items like the, in this mission they need to collect this energy cell and in every mission he, they need to collect certain items so that he is able to complete his mission okay uh, now there are certain buttons here so this is the button or the option in, uh, for zooming out so i can zoom out from my, this window by using this option now if i want to zoom into the window i need to click this uh, plus button okay this is for the grid map which way which you can use uh, to solve the mission it may help you to uh, navigate uh, our robot day through this grid or this uh, path and then this let me close this for now and this is uh, the control uh, this is to increase or decrease the your game speed so right now you will see when i click on it it says 2x now you will see the speed of the jumping speed of Dave has increased. As Dave is uh, jumping twice the twice as fast as he was doing earlier. So when I again click on it, you can see it's now jumping four times faster. Uh, so for now, let's keep it at one x. That is the normal speed. Okay. Now this big white window, white area that you see here, is called a programming area. So we are going to create the program here in this section. Now, how are we going to create the program? So you can see here in the center section, there are certain three program blocks. So we are going to use these blocks to give our Dave the instructions to move or like so we can tell Dave to turn right. All these instructions can be given using these blocks here. And uh, if I suppose I drag and uh, Drop a block here in the programming area. And suppose I want to delete this block. So it's very easy to do that. I can just drag and drop it and put it in the bin here. Here also we can zoom in and zoom out using these two options. Right? So there's a block already there. I'm just going to delete it. Right? Now to execute or to run our program, we have this option here, run. So when we click on this button, our program is going to get executed. And what are the instructions that are there in the programming area, Dave is going to follow them. Now in this mission, you can see Dave is at a position, which is, uh, you can see it says X4 and Y3. Now X is our horizontal direction, which is this. So and y is a vertical direction. Right. So Dave is at x4 and y3, and the energy cell or the item is at x7 and y3. So to for Dave to collect this energy cell, what he needs to do is he needs to move say one, two, three. Right. Let me count the steps. This is the first step, second step, and third step. So Dave needs to move three steps forward right so how we can move Dave uh, in forward direction is by using this block which is the first block that says Dave step so let me drag and drop it uh, and just place it in the programming area like this right so this block will make they move one step forward let's check it whether this works I'll click on run yeah they did move one step forward but he was the, the, uh, that one step was not enough and he couldn't connect the energy cell. Okay, so I'll go back to my mission again. So I have to select this option that is the tick mark. Okay. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to add two more such blocks so that they move three steps forward. So we go, I want to drag and drop another block here and then I'm going to place it just below the first block. Let's use one more block and place it below the second block. So these instructions that are, uh, or these blocks that are being placed here are going to be executed one at a time, one by one in sequence. So let's check our program, whether this works. Hooray. So Dave has collected the item, but you will see that uh, I have got only two stars here, but I was supposed to get all the three stars, right? But 
what, why, why this happened? This is because uh, I could have, uh, although my program is correct, okay, there's nothing wrong with the programming logic here, logic of my program, but same program I could have made using lesser blocks. For example, let's go back to the same mission again. So this is the option that I will select to go back to the same mission. If I want to try it again, I'll go back here. So I'll delete the last two blocks. Let me put it in the bin. Great. So using the single block, we can solve this mission because here, what I only change that we need to do is we need to change the number of steps that I mentioned here. So instead of one, I'll write three, right? So they means to move one, two, three steps, correct? So when this block gets executed, Dave is going to move three steps in forward direction. Let's test this program. Awesome, right? So this time I got all the three stars. I hope you are also uh, practicing simultaneously with me. Now to move on to the next mission, what we need to do is we need to select this option. So when I click on it, it will direct me to the second level. You can see the level has changed here. It says unit one, level two. Now we are on level two. Let me delete this block, which was already there. Okay. Now again, they need to collect this item, which is the energy cell. And let's see how many steps they need to move. Let's count them one by one. One, two, three, four, five, right. So they need to move five steps forward. So we'll use the same block that says Dave step here. Let me uh, drag and drop it in the programming area. And like we have done in the previous mission, what we need to do is we need to change the number of steps. So I'm going to put five and I'm going to run the program here. Let's see whether this works. It should work. Yeah, awesome. So again, since I've used uh, only one block to solve the mission, I've got all the three stars. So let's now move on to the next mission. Okay, let me delete this. Now this, is, uh, this mission is a bit different from the previous one that we have solved. So what's the difference here? The difference here is you can see Dave is uh, facing in another direction. Okay, Dave is not facing in the same direction where the energy cell is. So Dave is say, you can say Dave is uh, facing in the north direction. So first, we what we need to do, we need to make Dave turn towards his right. Okay, now how we can do that? So they uh, to turn there, this is the block, the second block here in the block palette that can be used. So I'll just drag and drop it, sorry, okay. I'll just try and drop it in the programming area. So this should make the turn right. Let's check whether this works. So you see, Dave does turn right. Okay, I'll let me run it again. Right? So Dave is turning right. Now we can add other blocks. Okay, the other block that we need to add is after turning right, Dave needs to move certain steps in forward direction. So let's count the steps here. One, two, three, and four. Right. So I'll use this Dave step block and I'm just going to place it below the Dave turn right here. Now this should uh, help Dave collect this energy cell. Let's see whether this works. Okay. Sorry. My wife, I forgot to change the number of steps. So let's do it again. This time, I'll change the number of steps to four. Yeah. Let's try it again. Yippee. Right? So again, we've got three stars because we have used the minimum number of blocks that are required to solve the challenge. Now, if you are done, we can move on to the next challenge. Or you have, if you have any questions, please put it in the chat window. Can we move on to the next mission, guys? Right. Okay. So let's move on to the next level. That is the level four of unit one. 
So these are all the blocks. Let me delete them. Okay. Now here you see Dave is facing again facing in the north direction. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, change the direction with the uh, with in which our robot Dave is facing. So first we need to make Dave turn towards left. Okay. So again, how to do that? We we'll use the same block here. That is Dave turn right. Let's place it in the programming area. Now this is Dave is going to turn right. But how to change uh, the direction from right to left? So what you need to do is you need to click on this drop down menu, and from here we can select the turn left option. Right. Let's check whether this works. Let's run the program till here. Yeah. So you can see they did turn towards left. Okay, now we can make sorry, we can make they move in forward direction. So again, we use the same block which says they've step. And let's form the number of steps they needs to move in forward after turning towards left. So this is one, two, three, and four. Great. So I'll put here. Let's put it four. Okay, so let's check whether this program works. Let me click on run. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, great. So again, we got three stars. So likewise, now we can move on to the fifth mission here. Let's move on to the fifth mission. And you will see it's big. Difficult, a bit, uh, I would say, a bit challenging because first they needs to move certain step forward. So suppose the, uh, from here they needs to move one, two, three, four steps forward. So let's program this in different parts. So first we're going to make bring Dave to this time, which is one, two, three, four steps in forward direction. So we we'll use the same block and we'll put four steps. So let's see whether this brings Dave to the edge. Right, correct. Now what we need to do is after uh, Dave has reached at this point, we need to make Dave turn towards left. So let's use this block here. That says turn right currently. So we drag and drop and place it just below the first block. Okay, and we change the direction from right to left. Great. Let's test it. Okay. Great. So far, so good. Now we can put the final block. That is, we need to make Dave move from this point to this point. So again, now they needs to move, uh, say, one, two, three steps forward, right? So again, I'm going to use this block, which is the eight step block here. We're going to replace one with three, right? And now this should solve a purpose. This should solve the mission. Let's check it. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Okay, they have moved, turned, and they have collected the energy cell, right? Great, again, we got three stars here. Now let's move on to this final mission. So this is the final mission that we're going to do in today's webinar. So uh, you can read the instruction here. What it says is according to the old uh, order of the blocks, building blocks are executed from top to bottom. The order of the building blocks is very important. Changing the order of the building blocks will result in different execution. So what it says is, the blocks are going to get executed in the order that we're going to place it. For example, if I place this block here, and then this, uh, uh, the turning block here, first Dave is going to move st uh, one step forward, then it is going to turn. But if I change the sequence of the block, so if I place the turn right block above the Dave, um, step forward block, then what will happen? First, Dave is going to turn right, 
and then is going to be made in uh, uh, then there is going to move one step forward. Okay. So just let me delete these blocks. Now let's see what we need to do. We need to again make this move forward, say one, two, three steps. They needs to move three steps forward. So uh, use the same block here. And then we're going to replace the value one with three. Okay. Let's test this again. Yeah, it works fine. Now the next thing what we need to do is we need to make the turn right. So let's try and drop this block. It says they turn right. Uh, we do not need to change the direction here because it's already turn right option is selected here. So we leave it like as it is. And let's see. Right, great. So far, our program is working. Now let's program the last step, which is Dave needs to move. How many steps forward? So Dave is going to be here. Then he needs to move one, two, three, and four steps forward. So here I need to put four. Let's see. Great. So Dave has collected the item number. And again, we have got the three star. Now suppose if I change the order of these blocks, right? So instead of making Dave move three steps forward, I put the this block here. And this. I just remove this block here. This is going to affect the execution. That's what the instruction meant. So the blocks are going to be executed in the order that they are placed in one another. Let's test this once again. So now here they uh, will move four step forward, but I don't think they can move four step forward because there's uh, no time or there's no block after P. We will also want to see. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, so they have reached a dead end. So we cannot move forward. So we need to again change the sequence of these blocks. And this is the correct sequence where they is going to move three steps forward. One, two, three. Then they should turn right. And then they will move four step forward. One, one two, three. Great. Let's run it again. Great, yeah. So this brings to, uh, to the end of our session. So if you have any queries, you, uh, you can please put your questions in the chat window. Uh, I'll try to answer them. Okay. I don't think there are any queries. Okay, so thank you very much, guys. Uh, it was uh, nice having you all here. Remember that you have access to the Gamify portal, so you can practice as many missions as possible. And uh, we'll be meeting uh, soon, uh, hopefully. And have a nice day. It was uh, really exciting to see you here. Thank you, Anuradha. Bye. Take care. Thank you.